welcome back for yet another adventure. Italy has been gaining popularity recently, so let's explore some of the more recently discovered and under-traveled, yet unforgettable Italian locations. Let's start out strong by hiking across lava fields. The largest and highest volcano in Europe, Sicily's Mount Etna, can be viewed at a distance from some of the nearby towns. But to really get a sense of its majesty, you can't do better than a hike across its flanks. From the northern side, you can walk across its moon-like dunes. From the southern side, you can take a cable car part way up. For a more relaxing experience, the Circum Etnia Railway runs between the Catania and Verposto, offering truly dramatic views. Next, learn to row a gondola on Venice's canals. Taking a gondola ride is a classic Venice activity, but it's really pricey. At 120 euros an hour, it's not in everyone's budget. Luckily, there's an experience that's way more fun, much more active, and gives you the chance to do the rowing yourself. Your instructor will teach each of you how to stand, how to hold and move the oar, and how to propel the boat forward while they steer. Before you know it, you'll be standing on the stern and steering yourself. It looks scary, but it's far easier than it looks and gives you a wonderful glimpse and perspective of life in Venice. From the gondola, head over to climb the Leaning Tower. Construction of the famous Leaning Tower of Pisa started becoming lopsided once construction began on the third story. It has now become securely rooted to the ground lean intact. Climbing the 251 steps up the tower for the stunning views is a great experience and a can't miss. From there, continue your climbing adventure by climbing the Dolomites. Even if you've never rock climbed before, you can easily do so in Italy's Dolomites mountain range, thanks to the Via Ferrara. The Dolomites are located in the northeast of Italy, about two and a half hours north of Venice. The term Via Ferrata means iron path and it gives travelers the opportunity to climb the side of a mountain with an easy way to stay harnessed to that side of the mountain. The Dolomites is home to several different routes, some that are mostly flat and stretch along mountaintop plateaus, while others are steep and require scrambling up the sides of cliffs. Whichever route you choose, you'll be rewarded with incredible views of the jagged peaks of the Dolomites next to the bright green valleys. It's an unforgettable way to spend time in Italy's wild and rugged Dolomites region. Now time to relax and sip volcanic wines. Just a ferry ride away from Sicily's northeast coast sits the Aeolian Islands. Comprising of seven volcanic islands, they offer a dramatic scenery as well as wonderful snorkeling and scuba diving adventures. Visitors go to Lipari for the largest choice of restaurants as well as to relax in the hot springs. The island of Volcano is favored for its black sand beaches and the lush island of Selina is the place to try volcanic wine, specifically its renowned desert wine. All right. Let's head back out for another climbing adventure by climbing the active volcanoes in Sicily. If adventure is your thing, you should certainly hike over at least one of the several active volcanoes on the island. Reach a height of over 10,000 feet above sea level during sunset and enjoy the breathtaking views. You can go on a tour of Mount Etna, the highest active volcano in Europe, and travel to its upper craters in a 4x4 jeep and enjoy a beautiful sunset. Another option is to go to Stromboli. After getting there in a boat, start the three hour hike up the steep path. At some point, you won't be able to miss the lava shooting up in the night sky. This makes this one of the most adventurous things to do in Italy. Our next adventure is something you can only do in Italy. Experience being a gladiator in Rome. This is an amazing opportunity for history lovers to feel like a gladiator. They let you gear up in the gladiator attire and also train you to handle the weapons of the time. If you are lucky, you will get a chance to do this in the Colosseum itself, the place where some of the mightiest fighters played the deadliest matches to entertain the masses. 
Without a second guess, it's one of the most exciting things to do in Italy if you like to explore the Roman history and culture. A must in Italy is also to visit beautiful Lake Garda. Lake Garda is a beautiful destination for all types of travelers. Adventurers, explorers, foodies, and families all love this beautiful spot. The largest of the Italian lakes and the third largest in the whole Alps region, Lake Garda provides a huge range of activities and experiences. North of the lake enjoys stunning mountainous scenery and water sports with plenty of outdoor pursuits. If water sports are your thing, then you'll want to visit Riva, which is one of the best places in Italy for wind and surf sports. South of Lake Garda offers a more Mediterranean feel with warmer days and great beach areas. You are really spoilt for choice here and there's so many great towns to visit. There's absolutely something for everyone. Time to go on a kayaking trip that takes you back in time. A memorable trip to Italy is incomplete without visiting the UNESCO listed Cinque Terre villages. You can see the five coastal villages of Cinque Terre from the water during a kayaking trip. The trip would start from Monte Rosso as you paddle along the rugged Italian Riviera to find secluded beaches, rocky cliffs, and the beautiful villages with homes painted in pastel colors. On the route, you will find time to lay down on a beach or go for a swim. And what could be better than visiting one of the best regions in Italy's countryside and having a kayaking trip too? Next up, enjoy diving into a floating pool beside the Alps. Nothing can beat having a romantic backdrop of the Alps while you're swimming in a floating pool inside a lake. And yes, this is possible in Italy. As one of the best things to do in Italy, visiting Lake Como is sure to take your breath away as it is considered one of the top lakeside destinations in not just Italy, but the whole world. No doubt it's going to be one of the most unforgettable experiences in Italy. For a flying adventure, attempt to fly over the Lusanian Dolomites. The Lusanian Dolomites offer a whole different landscape with its jagged dragon tooth peaks. It's the mountain range of the Basilicata region in South Italy, which is home to two of Italy's most scenic mountain villages and a unique landscape deserves a unique way to enjoy it. Consider taking flight with Flight of the Angel, a specifically built zip line between the two villages. You'll cruise with the help of gravity, zooming down the wire and gaining thrilling speeds of over 100 kilometers per hour. The best way for you to experience the Lusanian Dolomites. Lastly, head out to go canyoning in Umbria. This adventurous activity immerses you in nature as you scale down waterfalls, dive into ravines, and wade through streams up the Umbrian Highlands. Canyoning combines the sensation of spelunking and elements of rock climbing. Umbria has around five spots, each of which has its own features and suiting different skill levels, and Fora del Casco is one of the most popular. However, anywhere you go, you will experience the full canyoning adventure. Rock climbing in Italy brings us to the end of this video. If you want to or already have tried one of the activities we mentioned, like the video and see you next time in another corner of the world.